Uh, we are doing a sponsored stream, thank you to Team17, of Gord. So Gord is a game we've played the demo of. I'm super looking forward to this game. It is like this weird city builder, like fantasy management game. I am in it. Um, you can kill me, which I know is a huge selling point for most of you. So it is, uh, yeah, it's a super cool game. The, the release comes out in three days, but there's a Gord command and a profile button if you want to check it out early. And uh, we also have drops going on today. So I actually, I think I'm a drop. So if you watch today for 90 minutes or 60 minutes, then uh, you can get me in your game, which is kind of fun. I'm really good at fishing, by the way. Yeah, which is awesome. So again, a big thank you to Team17 for sponsoring the stream and uh, our early look at Gord. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This game uses an autosave feature, chat. Also, boop 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 boop. So to see my character, I think you go to custom scenario. And then you can set your peoples. You see how you do it. You can use a seed. Yeah, so here here I am. Here's Conan. <laughs> Look at him. That's great, dude. First time I've seen him in the game. A fisherman on the personal quest to catch the biggest fish in the lands obsesses about his quest for reasons he will not share. He is uh, selfless. Uh, his weakness is that he's work-driven. And he is a fisherman. Yep. <laughs> Pretty great. There's also uh, some other great streamers in here as well. Here's Strippin. You look at Strippin. Oh, wait, no, no. I think I have to... Hold on. There he is. There's Strippin. Oh man, that's great. Strippin is a axe wielder. A man raised among the wild folk, while whilst his present makes others uneasy, his willingness to face Svarhog worshippers for a hot meal is a rare commodity. <laughs> He's greedy with food. <laughs> oh man. Love it. Alright. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and. We're gonna do a real campaign though. The main campaign, I should say. Great. Is Gord out or in early access? Gord comes out in three days. You can check out the uh, link in the Gord command or in my profile if you would like to check that out. Is this another CRPG? Uh, you're gonna see, it's kind of a unique take. Um, it's kind of a unique take. It, it's kind of a unique gameplay loop that you'll see here in just a second. I'm going to go through all the tutorials and stuff again. Over the years, Calanthia grew under my rule. My campaign to unite the South is almost over. As we speak, my son is directing our army against the remaining forces of the Southern Resistance. Once we're done there, we shall take the North. It's filled with all sorts of vile creatures, but also rich in the gold that I need. Only a few barbaric tribes are desperate enough to inhabit these lands. As my steward, you will have one of them at your disposal. The Tribe of the Dawn. Secure the Golden Root before our army arrives. My emissary, Edwin, will watch your progress. Fail me, and you will face a fate much worse than any of the savages you've ever fought before. The Tribe of the Dawn was always a humble community of Dabo worshippers. Their elder, Bogdan, is neither a warrior nor a strategist. When the Calanthians came with their threats and promises, they had no choice but to obey. 
They agreed to guide them through the Lysatian forests, hoping for peace and survival. <clears throat> cool. Here we are, Stuart. No wonder our king chose you for this mission. You're more than worthy of this disgusting land. Are you sure we're in the right place? Where is that meek old coward who calls himself a Welcome, leader? my lord. Oh, it's I him. Am Great. Bolton, elder of the tribe of the Dawn. I will guide you through the Lasatian woods. But, if I may. Where are your warriors? The king's forces will come when the time is right. Until then, we are your new masters. As pledged, my lord. My tribe will follow the orders of the king's steward. They are your people now. I trust you'll take good care of them. We will. If they do their work, do they find a place to set up a camp? Yes, sir. Our scouts have found a good spot for our first gourd. A nearby pond should provide enough reeds and food to start a small settlement. Here you can access the in-game settings and control the time flow with the following hotkeys. And we'll move around like this. Cool. Do we need to rotate? Great. My lord, please order our subjects to move. We should follow our scouts' footsteps. We are not safe here. Did we play this before? Yes, we have played the demo. This is now the early, the early access version. This is what's coming out in three days. Um, quick reminder, somebody earlier in chat uh, said, "What if is there a link that we can click on to, spawn, uh, to help the stream? Yes, there is, and I really appreciate you even thinking about that. If you check out the gourd command, uh, it will pop up this right here. And uh, wait, 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 wait. Do, 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 do. Um, where is it? <laughs> of course, I've lost it and everything. There we go. Pop up that right there. And uh, yeah, that's what we're looking at. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One sec, chat. All right, great. Okay. Yeah, big thanks to those who click on it. It definitely helps support the stream and gives you more information on this as well. Is this an indie game? Yes. <clears throat> this is by Team17, which is a, a very cool, popular indie uh, developer these days, or indie publisher, excuse me. Yeah. Gord sounds like the, a troll name or something. It does, doesn't it? Yep. I agree. Select the subject and then switch between subjects. Left click to select. Up and down to select between them. Cool. Select all subjects and then reach the mark location. Boop. Are the bodies of our scouts there isn't much for us to bury but it seems like one got away with dabo's help he'll find his way back to us dabo the minimap gives you a top-down view of the surrounding terrain with all sorts of interactive objects marked appropriately by using the filters you can hide show every category of objects available on the map the senses view provides you with additional tactical information about your surroundings including highlighting enemies and interactive objects displaying sanity and faith gain ranges Displaying a selected subject's range of sight and range of hearing. A lot of important information is displayed in the panel on the left menu. Notifications about important events, obligatory main quests, optional side quests, and information panels. <clears throat> a wagon abandoned in haste. Broken carts may healed, uh, yet hold treasure by those who fled. Can I treasure it? 
I don't think so yet. De-treasure it, I guess would be the right way to say that, right? Oh, cool. If we hold right click, we can... Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, that works out. Enemies can have multiple attacks, special abilities, and buffs. Some may attack the closest subject while others focus on the weakest. Use strategy, subject professions, items, and strengths to prevail in battle. I'm going to keep all these tutorials up so I actually remember how to play this game. Oh. Oh, Jeez! Sorry, puppers. Is it possible to move the map? Uh, I don't think so. We can turn it off. Oh, M just pops it up and puts it away. There you go. Red herb, ready to be used. Does anyone need it? Oh, there we go. So they just pick it up and use it immediately. Okay, cool. They took our gerbs. They took our gerbs! They took our <clears throat> Excuse me. John Veritas's Team 17 game? Really? Cool. Cool. Sir, we've reached the pond our scouts told us about. It is indeed a fine location for a gourd. Like a good gourd. We have access to water, reeds, and other resources here. But first, let's build a palisade. These wooden walls will be the main defense of our new settlement. Okay. This panel shows the amount of your resources. Wood, reed, food, clay, iron, and gold. It also shows the game's three main parameters. Gord's growth, Gord's sanity, and Gord's faith, which will be explained later in the campaign. Wood and reed is used to build structures to their initial level. Each subject's basic upkeep is food. It prevents them from starving, which heavily influences their sanity, which will be introduced later. Gold is required by the military professions, which will be introduced later. Clay and iron are upgrading structures. Will, wait for it, will be introduced later. Okay. The action menu will give you access to three important menus, construction, population, and incantation. In the construction menu, you can build new structures, group by category, as well as preview the growth tree. The pop menu provides you with a list of all your subjects, whom you can easily group to your liking. The new birth progress bar shows how long you must wait for a new child to be born in your community. New birth progresses when there's more population capacity than people living in the settlement. The incantation menu can be used later. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Squidward Gaming with the four years. Thank you so much for that. And ends evil with the five months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Pick the available structure from the construction menu and place it on the available area, then order your subjects to build it. Build a palisade. Can I make it bigger? Oh, I can't. Now, I'm sure there's like all sorts of benefits to doing, like, oh my lord. Reposition gate set to default. Okay. We can turn it. I wonder, like, what the benefits are to making it larger. Because we can, like, we can do all sorts of funky things with this. Oh, look at all this. So we have to meet all these requirements. Okay. All right, let's just rotate it right now. We're, we're just gonna, we're gonna start easy. There we go. By the way, apparently, oh, apparently, no chat, I'm not gonna make it look like what you're asking. Stop it. Um, apparently, you could rename every person in this game, which I am all about. So we may have to, uh, Make ourselves a little pool here at some point. Good. The palisade will keep us safe. Now we need to think of how to make use of the resources we have. 
Okay. Hold on, old fool. This is just a minor stop on our way to the cartographer. He's waiting for us with instructions on how to reach the gold. I don't want to grow roots in this dump. That was a fast build. They're very industrious. Yes. Yep. My, my lord, I promise we will move on as soon as we have fortified our current position. For now, I suggest building a lumber mill, a forager's hut, and a thatchery. Okay. Uh, a lumber mill does sound useful. Fine then. But be quick about it, steward. Is this game released? No. Today we're doing a sponsored stream, thanks to Team 17, in anticipation of the release in three days. Uh, if you want more information on the game, there's the Gord command. And uh, also by watching today, you get drops. The drop for me is my character in the game, uh, which is a voiced character. Um, and I have to admit, and hold on, I think I can, I think I can talk about this. Um, yeah, you know what? I think it's, I think it's fine now the game's coming out. So, I have a bunch of lines on this character, but most of them are just like screams. <laughs> so the, the way the, there's, there's a whole lot of, of, there's a whole lot of terrible things that can happen in this game. It's kind of like, uh, like it kind of rim worldy in that regard. And each, each one of these terrible things that can happen, which there are a plethora of terrible things that can happen, all required their own unique voice lines of me getting injured or dying. <laughs> so, although, although I don't even, I don't think my unit has like any actual words that he says, he does have many, 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 many lines. <laughs> Um, which is, which is fun. So if you watch the stream today, I think for about 90 minutes, you will get that drop and then you can put me in your game if you want me in your game, which is kind of fun. I'm a fisherman. Uh, so that is, that is my profession in this game. I'm a very good fisherman. I know, surprise. So, um, it's pretty cool. And I, and I do really want to give a big shout out and thanks for Team 17 to including me. That's kind of, it's kind of great. Yeah. And that was a very interesting. Oh, get the damn fish. Thanks, Amelia. That was a very interesting recording session for sure. Yeah, that was a, it was a fun one. The best part about it was the the Gord devs, like they're really good at what they do, and they had specific specific ways that they wanted them to sound. So like there were some of these death lines, especially where it was like you had to nail everything in terms of the animation. And I swear I did a few of them like probably twenty plus times because they were like, okay, we need you to scream louder here. And then here you're like in awe of your death. And now here you're getting ripped apart. And and here you're kind of like dying. So we need like exasperate. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> it was it was amazing. It was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. We'll talk about that more as we get to those those scenes and stuff. I don't wanna I don't wanna spoil anything. <laughs> That's a good director. They were great. They were great. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed so far, the game is like, and I hope, I hope. It's like this the whole campaign, but so far every word has been voice acted. And the voice acting's been good. Like I, I like all the characters so far that have been in the game. So yeah, it's it's been working out pretty well. So this game is locked in this like circular build thing, which is kind of interesting. Uh when I first played the demo, I tried to make it like a square and grid it, but that's not really how this game works. So it seems to be very uh fluid in terms of like how you do this stuff, which I think is pretty cool. Kind of builds around a central point, you can see here. Uh, so we'll put this here to start. Oh, also, let's go to the population panel. Uh, let's see. How, where, where is the population panel? Oh, here we go. Professions determine what adults can and can't do. To switch the subject's profession, order them into a relevant structure with an available work slot. If they are a gatherer, they will automatically begin gathering if the desired resource is available on a visited part of the map. So here's the population button. Here's all. Oh no, here's the population button. So this is gonna be Barry. And then we've got Suzu. And then we've got who else we got here today? Who else we got here? We got we got Reverend Drew. 
we got Nuri. And then we got... Let's see who else we got here. We got Agamir. There we go. Oh, you all are dead. Agamir, you're looking fine, girl. Nice. Um, okay, so... Did I spell that right? <laughs> Agamir says, I'm so sorry, you guys, before I put his name in. And then I put his name in and he goes, Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, God. Um, okay, so we need to pick... Uh, let's see. They, everyone has stats and stuff, which is pretty cool. So we can see everyone is, is better at doing different things. So our best cutters... Take a look at our population. Um, I think if we click here... Yeah, we can see, like, who's good at what. So Barry's a really good cutter, so we're going to put him in there. Um, and then Reverend Drew and Nuri are okay. Let's do let's do Reverend Drew, and we'll do... We'll do Agamemnon. So now they're going to go off and do things. Cool. Gather and deposit some wood. Perfect. We can also speed things up if we want to. So Ko's going to get all his mods killed again? Yep. Can we jump in the pool? Uh, definitely, definitely can when we do our full, when we do our full playthrough of this game eventually, which I am planning to do eventually, um, between all the other games coming out, uh, we will do a, a pool for it and everything. Yeah. This, for this, this run, I think we'll just do mods. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey, Piglet with the five months. The absolute best of vibes to you, dude. The absolute best of vibes to you, Piglet. Appreciate your message and just... No words, man. Best to you. Best to you. Thank you for the message. Please designate an assignment to our sister. All right. Looking at these, the hands of our brother Suzu are currently idle. Suzu's hands are idle. Idle hands are the devil's plaything. Uh, let's go ahead and get a thatchery going. Thatchery allows thatchers to process water cane into reeds. Okay, so we're going to pop you here. Go. At least we can eat the mods when Ko gets them killed. That's true. That's true. Yes, we could have a, a mod barbecue. A mod BQ, if you will. Am I going to play Dark and Darker again? I am absolutely planning on playing Dark and Darker again at some point. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Oh God, Kibrio, what did I do? <laughs> what? You know it's bad, Kibrio, when you say that, and I have to ask you. Um, oh. Idle hands. Idle hands. The devil's plaything. No, that's a that's a saying. It's a saying. Yeah, that's that's not a that's not a malaprop, is it? Come on, man. One sec. <clears throat> Great. You've never heard that before? Yeah, that's 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 definitely a thing. <clears throat> Mostly it's in reference to <laughs> but it's um yeah, it's other you know, it's other things. Prophet Prophet of Anger says your mom is a saying. Up. Oh. What? Okay. Gabriel says that's not a thing? Our sister hasn't done much lately. <clears throat> I would like you to Google that, sir. We've run out of storage space for our wood. We need to build or upgrade a storehouse. Okay, gather and deposit some reeds. It's happening now. Oh, wait, no, we need to do this. It is totally a saying. Nope, Gabriel, it's all up. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. There you go, Suzu. I will also do Reverend Drew. Oh, unassigned. There is unassigned. There we go. Totally assigned. Mm -mm. I disagree! Yep. Your gourd is looking nice. Thank you, Emma. I appreciate you admiring my gourd. Quick code, prove him wrong by Googling it. Oh, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. Kibriel is mostly wrong. He just he just likes to comment a lot. Yeah, it's fine. That's why, of course, I had to check it. And sure enough, wrong again. I know. It's crazy. Your gourd is gourd-tastic. I know. It's true. <clears throat> Zorny with the prime sub. Thank you. 
I suppose you people are used to starvation, but I am not. Steward, order these peasants to bring me some food. Your gourd is Gordius. Oh, I love it. Sire, if I may, our people had some rations saved, but we will run out soon. We really need to start gathering food. I like that guy. Gabriel's fun. There's a, there's a reason we keep him around. Yeah, he's he's fun. Most of the time. <clears throat> Your subjects need to eat. Hungry people lose sanity quickly, just like in real life. Food can be obtained by certain professions, though trading through trading or found by exploring the level. Okay, build a forger's hut. <clears throat> Pop you right here. Go get the damn fish. I will, Amelia. Thank you so much. We've run out of storage space for our wood. We need to build or upgrade a storehouse. Let's clear some work slots. Um, how, how do I how do I remove a person? Maybe I can do it here. I need to remove Agamir. I think I only needed one person in here. I don't want to dismantle it. Maybe I can go to here and do it. Agamir. Currently depositing as a lumberjack. Let me let me pull him out. If I click on him, it's Barry. There's Agamir. There we go. Perfect. Easy peasy. So just select him and right click where you want him pretty much. Guys, oh my lord, you guys. These are so dirty. Uh, building and upgrading more versatile structures raises your gourd growth. Reaching a certain level of growth unlocks new types of structures and allows you to house more subjects. Civilization advances. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Agamir is now forging. Barry has too much wood. He just he just can't handle anymore. Man, Barry. Hmm. Toasty dude, thank you for the two months. Just met your character in BG3. Your voice acting is getting so good. Well, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. That's Sire, nice of you to say. Thank you for providing us with food. Can't wait for you to hear me in this game. Even though starvation won't make us bleed, it screaming. will weigh heavily upon our subject's mental state. If we neglect their sanity, they will flee our rule. Okay. Huh. Insubordinates like that should be punishable by death. Feeble minds. Hmm. In Calanthia, we would give our soldiers some wine to calm their nerves before the battle. Get them drunk. Yeah, that, that's how we calm down people IRL too. My lord, we don't have wine here, but we do pride ourselves on making a great drinking mead. Mead, you say? Ah, that doesn't sound too bad. Dude, for those that haven't tried it, mead is so good. However, it is the basic so comfort good. of staying within the range of a torchlight oh my helps God. a lot in our sanity regeneration. Our scouts can provide light to everyone venturing outside of the palisade, but I would recommend to build both a meadery and scouts tower. Mead is not wine? No, mead is not wine. No, like, like um, usually it's like honey mead, and it is basically like a, a very, it's an alcoholic sweet drink. Um, it's It's fermented honey. So it is basically like a honey-based alcohol. <laughs> it's 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 really really good. Um, there's some places on the internet that that make like true mead um, that you can actually get shipped to you. Uh, I had a an awesome viewer. I think it was LZT actually. I want to say who uh, Lima, Zulu, Lima Zulu Tango, who's a member of our community. And at one of the previous Twitch cons, I think it was LZT. Um, in one of the previous Twitch cons, they brought me and my buddy Eloheim actual mead from their country. And I think they were from uh, Norway. And uh, oh my God, like I, we, me, we basically, me and Ella walked around with these big bottles of mead and they were just like, oh, they were so good. I think, I think it was Sweden actually, but um, it was, it was, ooh, 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 it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Skull, yeah. 